Hey parents, students, um, again just another video experiment. Uh, here we're talking about the uh, rhetoric strand or seminar. Remember we're studying the book um, It Couldn't Just Happen and I talked to you about highlighting, how highlighting is a way to help you read to understand, read to learn. Look in, it helps you to focus and find key information and it helps you to refer back to it in discussion or in writing or in studying and so forth. We talked about different ways of highlighting. You may just use one color for everything, but you can also highlight different ideas in the body of literature that you're reading with different colors. For example, if you see here, if you can tell, this is supposed to be orange. I chose orange to highlight um, any type of illustration or figure of speech. Pink is uh, facts. Uh, green is definitions and I told you that you don't have to do what I do but just read and practice highlighting experiment you may do one chapter differently than the other and then you have your rhetoric study guide uh, remember what you're doing here this is something that you have you know you have your chapter you have the title of the chapter the remember I pointed out that some of the introductions in the chapters are very uh, short I'm summarizing the um, the uh, the chapter by looking at um, you know some you know the questions that may be at the end of the book looking at subtitles and so forth trying to get an idea what the chapter is going to be like maybe using illustrations or looking at some of the graphs and such I read the introduction and then I summarized it and I read section one okay section one stands for the subtitle okay the subtitle was counting the stars and I read it and then I summarized it with what I thought was interesting and or important. So for your study guide, you have 10 sections. You're not always going to use 10 sections. There may not be 10 sub subsections in the chapter. Okay, I'm going to move real quickly on to science. I remember you have to do a research. Um, you have to research and report on the different subjects, the things that we're studying. We, we looked at bacteria the first day. And then you're looking at, um, for the next week, you're looking at protozoa and uh, algae. So I said one way that you can collect information while you're doing a report or researching for your report is to use a keyword outline. You do not have to do this. Um, this is a very rough example, what you see in front of you, because it was done while someone was reading to me. That's the way that you did it in class. But remember, you have the liberty, typically, when you're doing an outline, to read at your own pace, to go back and forth and so forth. So that's why you see multiple thoughts on each line. So what I did is I wrote down the thoughts as, as it was read to me um, in, in one source. Uh, remember again we're studying bacteria so here's one source and here's the key ideas that I picked up on and then here's source number two key ideas that I picked up on and then I went and circled and, and numbered like ideas as something that may be important and then I joined the ideas together from these two as one. We call that a fuse outline. I wrote a topic sentence, what my report's going to be about, the, the main idea, the, the thesis of it. And then I also wrote a clincher, um, sticking with the idea of my introduction where I started. Okay. And then again, real quick, another thing we talked about, you know, we should be making flashcards. Remember at orientation, I shared with you that how, how God has shown us in Deuteronomy that it's, there's, a, there's a, a learning benefit in writing and copying those things that we're trying to learn. So one of the things you should be or may be writing is um, flashcards for your Latin vocabulary. Uh, here I have the word terra, which means uh, land. I have it in the genitive singular and the plural form. And then on the other side, I have the definition. Wrote it upside down, but I have the definition. And then uh, the Farrells pointed out how it's um, helpful to write the chapter and the page number where your, de where your vocabulary words are coming for for future reference, because you may have to go back to these in challenge B, challenge one, and so forth. And then I have the declension, first declension, uh, and gender. So these are things that have, people are saying who have gone ahead of us say can be useful with the flashcard. Finally, a couple of other things. I remade the homework organizer where the boxes are bigger. I'm going to um, send a file 
with that and if you want to use that to break down your homework assignments. And then again, a, the value of using CC Connect. And uh, there's a snippet, or not a snippet, but there's a file I found on the way that you can do your geography notebook, your term, your week, your definition, an example of it you know, used in a sentence, and then your drawing, two, two per page. Okay, hope you find that helpful. Bye.